three-dimensional topological insulator is a fundamentally new phase of electronic matter that has captured a lot of interest in the condensed matter physics community over the past two or three years. The fundamental interest in 3D topological insulators lies in the fact that they exhibit a rare type of behavior called topological order, which describes an organized movement of electrons in a crystal. A consequence of this is that their surface electronic spectrum is qualitatively distinct from any ordinary material in such a way as to allow surface electrons to flow without being trapped by impurities. The first experimental discovery of a 3D topological insulator was made in an alloy of bismuth and antimony by Zahid Hassan's group at Princeton University following an early prediction by Charles Kane and his collaborators at the University of Pennsylvania. The prediction was based on the idea that pure antimony, which is a metal, would become a topological insulator if it could be smoothly deformed into an insulator. Alloying antimony with bismuth was predicted to perform this smooth deformation. To test for the topological insulator phase, the Hassan group searched for the distinguishing features of the surface electrons as a window into the bulk topological properties. In a general insulator with spin orbit coupling, there can be spin polarized surface states that span the bulk energy gap, as shown in this diagram. For an ordinary insulator, these surface states always disperse such that they form an even number of Fermi surfaces. In a topological insulator, however, the number of surface Fermi surfaces is odd. This even or odd count is a topological distinction, and it is clear that this method of counting relies on the material being a bulk insulator. In this paper, we address the question of whether there are experimental signatures of topological order even in pure antimony. Because antimony is metallic, the surface state counting relies on being able to separate surface from bulk states at the Fermi energy. The technique we use to do this is spin and angle resolved photoemission spectroscopy. The basic principle is that photons impinge on a crystal of antimony and excite electrons into the vacuum. By measuring the energy and momentum of these photoelectrons, their energy momentum dispersion inside the crystal can be deduced. To measure spin, these energy and momentum analyzed electrons are then accelerated towards a heavy scattering target where they will be preferentially scattered left or right based on their spin direction owing to spin orbit scattering. The distinguishing properties of surface states are that they are spin polarized and have no dispersion along a direction normal to the surface. A typical photoemission spectrum of antimony is shown here along a momentum cut denoted by the red line. If we look at how the states at the Fermi energy change, against varying momentum along the surface normal direction, we find that only four bright branches around zero momentum show no dispersion. We also find that these four branches are spin polarized, proving that they are indeed surface states. There are two possible ways these surface states can disperse, which reflect whether antimony is topological or not. If it were topological, then the surface states would disperse in the sense shown in the upper panel and form a petal-like Fermi surface as depicted on the right. If it were non-topological, the surface states would disperse as shown below and instead form a concentric circular Fermi surface. Tracing the dispersion of the surface states over all of momentum space, we experimentally find that the Fermi surface exhibits a petal-like topology, which confirms that antimony is indeed topological. Our work here shows that even in metals, there can be signatures of topological order. It also confirms that the topological properties of bismuth antimony 3D topological insulators derived from the electronic structure of antimony. In future, this procedure can be generally applied to search for parent materials of topological insulators.